Gurudev, where does self-respect end and arrogance start? How to maintain a position of power without it being misjudged as arrogance? If you are watchful, you can feel it. You can recognize it. Yeah? Because when arrogance comes in you, it some way disturbs you. Inside it pricks you. At that time, just wake up. And another thing is, don't sit and analyze yourself too much. Be spontaneous and keep moving forward. Why you sit and analyze too much? Once in a while, it's good to analyze. But every day, sitting and analyzing yourself, oh, I'm, am I happy, am I unhappy, am I arrogant, am, am I humble? It's a big headache. And it's an unnecessary exercise. It can give rise to two situations. One is it will make you feel you are very righteous. Oh, see, I am always good. When you feel you are very righteous, you, you are inviting anger. You are prone to anger. All the angry people on this planet, if you observe them, they have righteousness. I am right. Self-righteousness will bring anger, number one. Second, suppose you find that you are not right, what it will give rise to you? Guilt. In that case also, who is the sufferer? <laughs> if you are right, you are suffering. If you are wrong, you are suffering. If you are right, you are suffering because you feel everybody else is unjust, only you are right and that will give rise to anger. And if you feel you are not right, huh? it eats you inside your guilt and guilt and guilt and uh, that is another botheration. The best is just let be and let go. What? And that is called Sharanagati. Offer it all, good and bad, everything. Offer all, all offer all action to Kesha, to the divine. In the end of every puja, there is a verse they say saying, Akashat patitam toyam yata gachati sagara. Like the water that comes from the clouds that falls on the earth, like they all move towards the ocean, the water moves towards the ocean. In that same way, let all my, any worship to anybody goes to one divinity. Sarvadeva Namaskara Keshavam Prati. And then you say, Kaena Vacha Manasendriyaiva. By word, by body, by through my senses, sakalam parasmi. Whatever I have done, I am doing all that I offer to the divine. Then you have offered the good, you have offered the bad, everything. Then you became hollow and empty and free. When you are free, then love blossoms in life. If you are not free, love doesn't blossom. Virtues don't come up in you. You can't say, I have these virtues, and you feel stifled, you feel upset, you feel angry and agitated inside. You know? So when can you feel devotion? When can you feel clarity of mind? When can you feel um, happiness? Only when you feel the freedom. And the freedom is when you just let go of the past and let go of the future. <music>